as the blue guy dangles for his life above the sharks. Oh no! Never mind, the shark got him. He did brain. That was a short, suspenseful movie. Welcome back to Oldies and Oddities. Uh, we've made it to Tuesday, December 28th. We're finally going to be going out and exploring the area. We're actually going to the Myrtle Beach State Park to see what it's about. Uh, Map-wise, it looks a lot smaller, but we'll see what it's like, what their beach looks like. Um, and then we're going to be heading to the Myrtle's Inlet uh, Marsh, if I remember correctly, the name, if I'm saying it in the right order, you know what I mean? Um, and check that out. I think it's, it's mostly like a boardwalk with shops and stuff. And then um, we're going to be going to the Hammock Shopping Center or Hammock Shopping Village, if I'm saying that one right. So, uh, but yeah, that's the plan for today. Maybe grab some grubbage along the way. And the big thing for today is we got Gilligan with us. What's up, Gilligan? Gilligan's going to go exploring with us today. Um, all the places... All the places that we're going are pet friendly uh, from everything I read online. We got our doggy bags. We got our little traveling bowls. And uh, I think he's ready. Look, he's trying to reach for the shifter. He's like, dude, put it in drive. Let's go. Let's go. Are you ready to go, Navigator? Yeah. Let's hit the road. Check it out, we found Gilligan's Island. Gilligan, Gilligan. He's looking at all the cars and people. We found Gilligan's Island though, I thought that was kind of funny. So we had to stop and take a picture with Gilligan's Island. Alright, so Gilligan and I have made it out to Madeira Beach State Park. Um, basically here there's just a campground and there's just a single beach with a uh, fairly decent sized pier. We're, like I said, we're not going to check out the campgrounds because I don't find that fair to be driving through people's campgrounds and making more noise when it's not necessary. Most of us know what campgrounds look like and you can Google Earth it if you need. Look at Gilligan's Stairmaster. Yeah, you got it? Well, I guess I should have read better online. So after arriving to Myrtle Beach State Park, I've come to realize that yes, it's pet friendly for all the trails and everything, but for the beach itself, you're not allowed to have dogs on there from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., so main business hours. And uh, they're not allowed on the pier or in the visitor shop here that you got to go through in order to get to the pier so i put gilligan in the truck with windows down it's a really nice cool day today it's only like 65 right now so we're only gonna be about five minutes all right so they got a nice little gift shop wow all kinds of classic souvenir gift shop stuff. Well, here I am trying to obey the rules about 
no dogs on the beach and there's dogs 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 but there's a dog really kind of sucks when you're the only one that follows the rules you know what I mean but I don't want to cause trouble for other people they're here trying to enjoy a beach that's supposed to be dog free you know and, uh, and some guys running around with his dog so Look, they got one of those giant chairs you can sit in for your photos. What's this bird doing? He's telling his friends, come to the beach, man, we chilling. Oh, you let me come right up to you, huh? You're not afraid at all. Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah? I think I got a lot to say. He said, don't forget to like and subscribe to see future videos. Share with your friends, your family, your grandma. So you're not allowed to shark fish off of the pier. I've seen multiple signs saying no shark fishing. All right, now we're getting down to the the fisherman area, you gotta, you gotta be quiet so the fish don't hear you, you know what I mean? Those are pretty cool benches. I've never seen benches like that on a pier before. Look at these birds in the wash table. What are you doing, bird? Oh, I scared the bird off. Look, like they've got all the different species that you could fit here and see. And tells you where the limits are. That's on all the poles here. That's cool. There we go. See, now you can see it better. And it says there's like no limits on these fish. That's cool. That's cool, they got a bait bucket drop. I've never seen a bait bait bucket drop on a on a pier before. And I grew up around piers in Florida, you know. And then having the little fish guide there, that's kinda nice too. It's gotta be kinda funny though for people that like aren't familiar with it. Cause they're gonna like get a fish and then have to run around to each pole trying to find their fish. Is this my fish? Is this my fish? By the time they find the right pole for their fish, the fish will be dead. Look at this, this bird's fishing with two fishing poles. Oh, let me get that for you. Uh-huh, no worries. Yeah, and unfortunately for you guys, I'm not doing any trails today. After walking X amount of odd miles to uh, Drunken Jack Island, my feet are killing me. My dogs are barking, you know? And then I've got Gilligan with me too, so he's a little dog. He can't do a ton of trails. He's energetic, but not that kind of energetic. <laughs> All right, let's jump in the truck and get to uh, Merle's, what was it, Merle's Inlet Marsh or Merle's Marsh Boardwalk, something like that. So we've made it to Merle's Inlet and uh, the parking was a little confusing because it had prices and everything, but then the gate was open, nobody was there. So I guess the weekdays it's free parking, that's the only thing I can assume. 
But uh, yeah, we made it out to the Merle's Inlet Marsh walkway, boardwalk. And uh, yeah, we're going to check it out. Now, unfortunately, I end up having to drop off Gilligan. Um, at the previous stop, one, it was not pet friendly at all. But the little bit of walking he did, he started limping on his left front leg. Um, I checked him out, which I used to be a vet tech, so I do have some experience. Couldn't find anything wrong with it. Started heading home, and he ended up actually getting motion sickness. He suffers from that occasionally. Uh, so that just made me say, yeah, and I pulled the trigger and went ahead and take him back to the trailer. Uh, getting back to the trailer, let him walk around. He did his potty thing. Wasn't limping anymore, so that's good. But I went ahead and left him there. And uh, now we can just explore and not have to worry about him and such. So, you know, everybody's got their good days and their bad days. And uh, he hit a bad day. You know, we all have it. Oh, check that out, man. Must be a tour or something. The barefoot booty. It's a cool sign. All right, so... Right now we're walking around the tuna shack and there's a uh, dock pier here. And I don't think we're going to walk the whole thing, but it goes on like a pier dock does to the end there. I'm sure you can see the view is just nothing but city buildings and houses and such. Got a beautiful view of the marina. There's the tuna shack. And then across from us, it looks like that's the rest of the walk. The Claw House, Dead Dog Saloon. A lot of these names that pop up when you Google the area. And then I can only assume that that's supposed to be the marsh that we're here to see. <laughs> from what I'm seeing so far, this whole area is just nothing but um, restaurants and bars and such uh, you got the tuna shack and then there's a wicked tuna over here which I don't know if they're affiliated or not oops sun's in your eyes there's a mojo's marina bar and grill look at this it's like a playground platform that they float out in the middle of the water for people to play on. So you got an upper level and you can jump onto the trampoline and bounce into the water. And there's a slide. It has a uh, small pump system to run water up to the slide. That's gonna be crazy. People are gonna start owning those instead of like boats or jet skis and stuff. You can use it for a playground, and then when you go fishing, you can fish from the upper deck. That could be cool. Then when you go to throw the fish back, you just like throw them down the slide. <laughs> Too small. <laughs> oh man, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, they'll take you out for a sunset cruise, man. You know you want a sunset cruise. Oh, dude. No. That's our cruise right there. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that's the one I'd want. That's cool. It's even got cannons. <laughs> they squirt water. <laughs> well I wasn't hungry when I got here but now that I've walked past like two shops and I'm catching the smells I'm getting hungry might have to roll the dice flip the coin and see which one of these places I want to eat at but here you go the marsh I'm sorry the sun's the wrong way and you can see the boardwalk there that we were on Oh, there's like a bluish green. You can see probably about three, maybe four foot through it. I'm looking at the pillar over there. Yeah, you can see at least three foot, if not four. Huh.
I didn't expect uh, the marsh water to be so clear and so green. It's a mullet hut. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. <clears throat> there's nothing in here. It's just a hut. Please do not touch a fireplace, employees only. Huh. Oh, I guess uh, it's just not open. Usually this is... Oh, interesting. The mullet hut. It's currently closed. Peter's Grilling Bar. Well, this place is the Love Shack. Do you remember that song in like the... What was that? The like the late '80s, early '90s, "Love Shack, Baby." We don't get pelicans. We don't get pelicans. Well, let me just bend over this rail to give them room to walk past me on the sidewalk. I hope I got that on the video because that was hilarious. Was there five of them just freaking taking them to the sidewalk? Dude, that one got me for half a second. I thought that was a real dude. Bubba Love. Man, that got me for a second. Well, I'm sorry if the view is not as glorious as we all want it to be. The sun's just not the right way. That seems to be a thing this time of year because of the winter time and the sun's positioning, you know? So what can we do? I get to see it and I'll let you know that it is pretty. I was walking around and look, here's another one of these dudes. Bubba Lifeguard Service. Oh, was Bubba a famous dude around here? Who was Bubba? Merle's Inlet Marsh. According to South Carolina's Hammock Post, Bubba Love, a longtime employee of Drunken Jacks who feeds and cares for the goats daily, is an icon in Merle's Inlet. The restaurant called Bubba Love Shack, also on the marsh, is named in his honor. Bubba's Love Shack. So that was uh, that right there. So that's why we're seeing Bubba all around it. Interesting. Right on. That's cool that uh, one person can make a, a mark in their town like that. Well, after walking up and down the boardwalk once or twice and... Uh, Scratching my brain three or four times. I think I've decided I'm going to go to this Creek Rats. All the places around here have about the same uh, rating. So it's just a toss of the dice. I looked at their menu. They got burgers. That makes me happy. So let's see what we can see for food. Well, that was pretty good, pretty good. I liked the music, they were playing 80s music, that's always awesome. Um, Food-wise, you know, classic burger and fries, can't go wrong with it. Tastes just fine, just like you'd imagine, you know? Now, I wouldn't say it's a restaurant where I'm like, oh my gosh, you gotta eat there, you know? It was just like any other shack, burger and fry shack, you know? So. All right, well, let's enjoy a little bit of this boardwalk, walk off that burger, and then uh, we're gonna head over to, where is it we're heading? The Hammock Village, 
into the hammock village next. Yeah, this one says hammock weavers. The hammock weaver. See what And this is where the batteries died in the microphone. Just like Gilligan, I was kind of having my own bad day this day. One, I had forgotten to readjust the settings from my GoPro from the night before when I was capturing a sunset. But hopefully I was able to adjust those enough in the video editor not to make it too noticeable. Other than the fact that I literally just told you about it. But then yeah, my batteries died in the microphone. And unfortunately the whole time I took video of the hammock village... I didn't notice until I got back to the cabin. So, I guess we'll just have to do a little music montage. But to tell you real quick, the Hammock Village, basically it's a whole bunch of little stores, little individual buildings and shops selling all kinds of souvenirs and everything. And of course, they sell hammocks as well. But yeah, let's cue in the music because, you know, watching me walk around talk to myself is not enjoyable. I'm sure I had some real words of wisdom, but we will just never know. Well, the Hammock Shop Village, this was definitely a cool place to hang out. You could definitely spend a lot of time here if you're going to hit every single one of these shops. And then there's a couple of little restaurants in that, so you could come here and probably spend half the day just venturing around. Uh, there was speakers periodically, which were playing holiday music and regular music. Um, so it's kind of cool, a little ambiance. So, yeah, definitely if you're in the area, you got to check out the Hammock, the Hammock Shop Village. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to see future videos. Please share with your friends and family and anybody you think would like kind of old and unique travel and old unique people. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Give me that blue guy. Give me that blue guy. Give me that blue guy. You just about to have my face. Give me this blue guy. Oh, I got the blue guy now. As the blue guy dangles for his life above the sharks. Oh no! Never mind, the sharks got him. He ate his brain. That was a short, suspenseful movie. Give me that blue guy. Oh my gosh! Blue guy, he's got a big rip in his face. I can stick my finger in blue guy's face. We're gonna have to get Quinn to fix him again.